Hey guys, welcome back to the House of Wrinkles. Today we are in the first 48 hours of Zoe's um, delivery and we just wanted to kind of jump on here and let you guys know kind of what we're going through. This video will help um, people who are thinking about breeding or new breeders who aren't sure what to do. This um, obviously isn't our first time so we've learned a lot but I remember our first time we were so clueless and thankfully, thankfully, we had some people who we could call that helped us along the way, but some of you may not have that. So th hopefully this video will help you guys. So before we get started with the how to's and the tips, I just wanted to go over just a couple of things with y'all really quick. Um, I just wanted to let y'all know that first of all, breeding is not for everybody. And there's a lot of work that has to be put into it and your work schedule has to really allow for something like this. You really need help. I don't see how one person could do this alone. I could not do this without Eric. Um, so it's hopefully by showing y'all what we go through, you can decide if breeding is really for you or not. Um, we also want to say that we are not against at all go into the Humane Society or adopting a dog that, that needs to be adopted. We love all animals. But we but what we want to bring to YouTube and to you guys is that not all breeders are puppy mills. Not all breeders are bad. And we love our animals and they're part of our family. So what we believe is that without true, loving, passionate breeders, our dog breeds that are full-blooded would quickly go extinct. So we're passionate about English Bulldogs. And I know a lot of you are probably passionate about different breeds, but it's important to have good, wholesome breeders who really care about their animals. So hopefully these tips will not only help English Bulldog breeders, but other breeders as well. Now, one thing I want to make sure and tell you guys is we separate the mama and the babies because English Bulldogs specifically are very clumsy. They're very heavy and sometimes they can step on their babies by accident or roll over on them. And so it's important to kind of keep them separated if you don't want to have an accidental death. Um, so this is how we do it. But a lot of things that we're going to talk about today um, will also go for other breeds so hopefully this will help okay we're fixing to get started she's waiting patiently for her babies to be put in here with her uh, but what I want to tell you first is you definitely need a warm dry area that is secluded from your other animals uh, for the well-being process so this is how, this is what we did. A lot of people use like a bathroom or an extra um, area in their, an extra bathroom or an extra closet. This is a small closet that we have designed just for, for our babies here to do the feeding process. Okay, so throughout the next few weeks, we're really gonna get into um, what we're doing and how we do this. If there's something specific that you have a question about, please reach out to us and we'll do a video on it. Um, there may be some things that we forget, you know, but we're gonna try our best to really get every detail that we can in. Um, one thing I wanna tell you guys first off is just a few things that you can expect from your female the first 48 hours. So, she will have an incision that you wanna keep dry and clean. Um, she'll also be a little bit sick, uh, diarrhea, vomiting is super normal the first 48 hours. Um, she won't have a good appetite the first 48 hours, um, but that will change. That should change after the first 48 hours, and if it don't, you need to really uh, contact your vet. Another thing to expect is they will have a lot of bleeding from their vaginal area. Uh, black, brown, or green discharge for the first 48 hours is very normal. Okay, so for the first 48 hours, your mama will not actually have milk. She'll have something that looks like milk, but it's actually something called colostrum. And it, um, 
it's packed full of nutrients that actually gives the puppies um, like a healthy immune system. So what we do is you want to make them uh, use the bathroom. You want to make sure definitely that each puppy is able to pee pee and poo poo. So um, sometimes the mama will do this and especially in other breed of dogs when you leave the puppies with the mama they'll do it themselves. <laughs> we'll do a video on how to clean them and all the important things about caring for the newborns in another video but this is just a One thing um, also that you need to know is these little guys need to eat every two hours. Um, that's super important. And see how they're wiggling around when you pick them up? Very wiggly and verbal a little bit. <laughs> that's really important. That's a healthy puppy. If you grab a puppy that hasn't ate in two hours and it's very uh, weak and limp that is a sign that there's something wrong so you want them to be <laughs> you want them to be wiggly every once in a while you will have a weak puppy um and we know of a lot of people who've lost puppies um, not knowing what to do and we didn't know what to do when we first started this but we're gonna give you a, a really good tip there are things that you can do if your puppy starts to get weak and you think you're gonna lose it um, and we'll go over that like in in depth in another video okay so <clears throat> Obviously, in each litter, you're going to have one or two that's bigger than the others. Um, they can be stronger, and they can push the little ones out of the way. So you always want to monitor feeding time. Make sure that each puppy is getting what they need. You can't just put them in there and um, hope that they're getting what they need. Because a lot of times, um, these little guys will get pushed, <laughs> will get pushed around, um, and you want them to grow. Which brings me to my uh, to my last point, I think, and that is you you want to weigh these little guys um, every day, about the same time every day. You can get a little scale off of Amazon, and we'll get Eric to link that in the description. Um, but um, they want to gain at least three percent of their own body weight each day. That means you have a healthy, growing puppy that's getting what they need. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hit the bell button to be notified of our future videos. And give us a thumb, thumbs up if something in this video helped you.